Welcome back. Right now we are checking in with Isaac Winter from High West Distillery. He's going to let us know how High West has shifted gears and is producing hand sanitizer for first responders as well as other individuals who desperately need it during this time. Isaac, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. I'm curious, how are things at High West? Things are okay. Uh, we're still producing whiskey. We, um, we were able to produce our first batch of hand sanitizer. We made about 4,700 uh, bottles. Uh, we're trying to work in small groups. We're trying to um, you know, eat lunch apart from everybody, trying to, to respect that six foot social distancing. Um, sorry, the video is kind of bad. So um, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to make it happen. Um, doing the best we can in this kind of uh, strange and awkward time. Now, Hi West, in case people don't know, you have a restaurant on Main Street as well as a distillery. Are you able to keep these facilities open? How are things going there? You know, we've been working with Summit County to, to shut down all of our hospitality locations. Um, as the state starts to open up, we, um, we're working with Summit County and our consolation partners to just to make sure that um, you know, we're respecting uh, the, the ordinances that are passed down from the state and that we're making sure that our employees are safe and that the guests are safe. Uh, the guest experience at High West is super, super important for us. And so um, we want to make sure that, that we, we can open up in a safe manner and that um, you know, we, we can retain some of that, that High West magic for, for people who drop by the distillery. Now, High West has been able to continue to produce whiskey that you're very famous for. When did you decide to also produce hand sanitizer? We had um, received a bunch of requests from the community um, just looking for, for any kind of help. So um, Park City First Responders reached out to us. Um, they said that they were in, in need of, of some hand sanitizer to help keep their employees safe. Um, and that's when we knew we, you know, we we could make an impact and, and help help the community. So um, we worked with the FDA, we worked with the TTB to try and put together uh, some sort of um, a package and, and uh, you know, following the World Health Organization Formula One. Um, we were able to, to put something together after after getting approval by those, those two uh, organizations. And you've been able to donate all of these bottles. This isn't an effort that is raising money for High West. In fact, you're sending them to the Park City Police Department, Fire Department, and also in May, you hope to produce even more and send to health clinics as well as um, assisted living facilities. So this has really been a huge undertaking that you've been able to do to help the community. Yeah, yeah, we're, we've been really excited about the project and, and just, you know, the the ability of our team to, to give back to the community and um, and make sure that we can open up you know, safely and, and try and get back to some level of normalcy. Um, we have been donating it, like you're saying, um, and trying to get it out to the, the frontline workers who, who are in most need. And I also want to mention that High West was able to raise quite a bit of money for Park City Community Foundation's fund to help individuals that so need it. Tell me more about that effort. Yeah, so in April, we ran a fundraising campaign um, with Park City Community Response Fund. Uh, we ended up raising about $30,000. Um, it's not over. You can still donate. I've got the website here at parkcitycf.org slash community response fund. So we're trying to um, target those communities that have been sort of you know, disproportionately affected by this COVID-19 virus um, and, and just get, uh, get relief to people who need it most. And this isn't just a small amount of money that High West has been able to donate. Tell me how much you were able to raise and donate to this response fund. Yeah, I believe that the total donation turned out to be about $30,000. So a we're really, pretty happy with that. Really great amount to be able to help individuals. And I'm curious, how are your employees doing? I know this has been a lot to handle, a lot to adjust to. How is that going with them? Yeah, you know, we've been um, trying to stay in constant contact with the teams. We have uh, a couple different teams spread across a couple different facilities, so communication is um, is tricky. Uh, you know, we've been trying to uh, to have constant team meetings and and just updates as we learn more information. It seems like you know day by day the the information and and guidance changes. You know 
just a little bit. So trying to keep everybody updated and, and just positive and making great whiskey for everybody else. Well, Isaac, it's great to see you. Thank you for joining us today. It's nice to hear how High West is producing hand sanitizer, also raising funds for those in need during this time for you as well. Where can we find out more about High West? Uh, I would check out our website, highwest.com, and then make sure to join our whiskey club for the uh, behind the scenes, um, you know, little sneak peeks at our, our upcoming releases. Well, Isaac, stay safe, stay healthy. We appreciate you being here today. You can find out more about High West online. Here on Mountain Connections, we have more. We're going to take a quick break and be right back.